Hello gamers and people who just think I look good. Welcome to my new adventure let's play. Castlevania Circle of the Moon. And as always we play adventure games on Wednesdays. So let's get this thing started. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and delete my other file because it's from a long time ago. Delete. Yes. Okay. Now let's go with Tarquin. So how's everybody doing today? I'm doing great. Alright, let's watch the intro to this game. <clears throat> this was the first Castlevania game I ever beat. And also the game, the Castlevania game that made me start liking the series again because I was not a huge fan of the Nintendo version. Series of the series. It's 1830 in an old Australian castle, and the worshippers of chaos rise to plea for the return of the Lord of Darkness. That is really hard text to read. Red text is always hard to read. That small. I mean, that, that font is small. Alright, here we have Camilla. We crave the presence of the embodiment of suffering. Wow. The ruler of darkness. It's kind of a morbid line there, Camilla. Who craves craves suffering. Dracula! I have waited for this moment to be awake again. To bask in darkness and feel the moonlight within. Count Dracula, I'm honored to be in your presence. Well, you're gonna die now. Indeed, though I lack my full power. We are preparing the right to replenish your power. Stop! You cannot be allowed to taint the world. You, I remember. You were the one of the vampire killers that sealed me. You've aged. It is our duty to see you banished. Amusing. To use my nemesis's life to return my power. I have no use for children. Be gone. Oh snap. Hugh! Nathan! Master! Father! Hopefully I can remember all these voices. Hmm, no creature around here. Creatures. Hugh, are you okay? Yeah. We're just brushed aside and ignored. We have to find Master. I'll go. He's my father. Nathan, you'll be the way. You'll be in the way. Just get out of here. I want to find Master just as much as anyone. Alright, and here we have Nathan. And that's who I'm controlling. So let's see what our menus look like here. Okay, we have a map screen, it looks like. DSS, dual setup system. Okay, we'll figure out what that is when we get to it. Items? I have no items. Sounds good. Cards, examine DSS cards. Yeah, same thing. Magic items. I don't have any magic items. Configure. Attack, jump, special. That's fine. Sure. Alright. Let's get this thing started. So yeah, welcome to Castlevania Circle of the Moon. Uh, as I was saying earlier before that cutscene, uh, this was the first Castlevania game that I beat. It was not the first one I played. I played all of the Castlevania games on the Nintendo. But I wasn't a huge fan of them. I didn't really like the mechanics of the game. I didn't like how the characters jumped or anything like that. Um, and I still have yet to beat any of the Castlevanias on the Nintendo. But I've beaten all three of the Castlevania games on the Game Boy Advance. Um, Circle, of, Circle of the Moon, Aria of Darkness, and, uh, and uh, the other one. I can't remember what it was called. And... I did play Symphony of the Night before this game, and I was intrigued by the game, but I wasn't... I, I didn't ever beat the game. 
I, it was, I played that game at a point in my life when I wasn't able to play very many games. So I just, I was never able to get fully into it. But I love the way it looked and, and handled and I like it way better than the original Ca uh, Castlevania games. I like this whole uh, Castle Troid or Metroidvania, however you want to call it, uh, layout of find the item that you need to get to the uh, rest of the castle, but uh, do it in your own time if you want. Okay, DSS, Attribute and Action. Cards will create a specific effect. These can be set at the menu screen. DSS options. Okay, well, that's not the menu. Okay, DSS. Okay, we have a salamander here. A lizard bathed in flame, embodiment of fire spirit. Salamander has the power of fire. Okay, so since it's called a dual system, I think I'm remembering this correctly. You have to have a one action card and one attribute card and they combine to do some kind of a of a thing and I keep swinging at the walls here because sometimes there's uh, hidden walls in Castlevania so here we have uh, the catacombs stop throwing bombs at me dude skeleton bomber does this game have a bestiary I can't remember I know one of them has a bestiary in it I, didn't, I don't remember seeing a bestiary in here. Magic, items, card, no. So I guess not. Can I run? Maybe I'll get an item that'll let me run later. And I cannot get up there. Which is fine, I'll find a way up there later. Whoa! Okay, I can destroy his uh, projectiles. No! Don't shoot me. We want to start this strong. And uh, that that is... Uh, uh, throwing bombs at me is not included in starting strong. So yes, uh, Adventure Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday is also going to be an RPG day, uh, but I will be playing an adventure game and an RPG. And this game was requested by Bertrudor. I did actually want to do a Let's Play of this in the future, but it wasn't on my immediate list. So um, thank you, Bertrudor, for suggesting it and giving me an excuse to play this game again, because I really enjoy it. Um, I don't know if this is my favorite of the three games on the system. It's the first game. <laughs> it's the first one I played and beat. Uh, but it is definitely enjoyable. I don't dislike any of the three games. Okay, I got a dagger. Sweet, that does some pretty decent damage. And these snakes right here, worms, whatever you want to call them, the only way you can destroy them right now is by spinning your whip, which you do by holding down the, the attack button. And these little poison snakes will poison you. And I don't know if I have any antidotes right now. I do. I have one antidote, but I don't want to have to use it. Alright, get the worm. Okay, and I'm going to actually go over here to the left, because there was a little opening here. Yeah, there's an opening above me. Could could I could I not reach that? Oh, come on, jump, Nathan. Ah, oh, there we go. I'm gonna go this way first. Oh, save point. Okay, cool. Push up, save. Yes. <clears throat> also, as is fitting of playing video games, I am I'm wearing a Mario Brothers T-shirt. And every once in a while, if I sit up really straight, you'll see the little bonsai bill, or, uh, uh, I think it's bonsai bill. The little bullet. Poke his head up. Whoa, I missed- oh gosh. Okay, first hit. I think- no. <laughs> I think I got hit by a bunch of the skeletons falling down the shaft over there. Alright, let's see what's over here. Also, one of the weird things I've always thought was weird about Castlevania was that you don't pick up hearts to regain energy, you pick up hearts to to uh, fuel your projectile. The little dagger there. Wow. And another jump I can't make. So I'm assuming like Metroid, we're gonna get a high jump ability. But it has been a long time since I've played this game. Uh, so, I like going back and playing games I haven't played in a while. It's a, it's a good experience. And this time I get to share it with my viewers, which is even better. 
Level up! Alright. Let's see what happened there. Anything significant? I wish I could find some equipment. Give me equipment. Okay. Uh, you can go back and, and look at my status screen from earlier to see what kind of status <coughs> increases I got from that level up. I don't know if the status increases are static or not. Um, I think this is one of those games where your level up is the same every time. Whoa! Okay, we're fighting a gargoyle? If I could dodge his attack, that would be lovely. Oh, come on. Okay, it's coming from that. Uh, dude, put it. Rah. What? Come on. Alright, no dying this soon. I'm assuming this is some sort of a mini boss. I think I remember him being that kind of thing. <clears throat> okay, so we start back off at the save point. That's fine, and I'll get my level up back on the way. So... Uh, it's not too far away, so I'm just gonna... Just gonna play to it. Actually, it's down this way, isn't it? <clears throat> and I don't think my map is uncovered anymore for that area there now. But since we can't go that way, we'll just come back later and uncover it. And if I miss any secrets that you, you are aware of, Please point them out, and I will go back and get them. I'd like to get a 100% uh, map uncovery, but I've never 100% of this game. <clears throat> so if you'd like to help me do that, just let me know. <clears throat> Alright, level up. That's what we were looking for. Hey, get away with the bombs, silly bomber. Poison worm. Okay. We're back here now. Let's let's do this better. Okay, that dagger does no damage compared to my whip. I'm trying to get it to where I can jump over the uh, the spell or the whatever um, and hit him while I'm doing it. Ah, this guy is not hard to kill. What is what is wrong with me? remember him being hard to kill. I mean, he's easy to hit. Okay, there we go. Alright, drop something. That's not cool. Drop it like it's entertaining. I don't know. That's an interesting little animation he has there. There's a hole in the wall. Can I go through there? Oh, of course not. Here's a jump. That... Oh, okay. Here's a new item. What do we have here? The dash boot. Double tap forward to perform a dash move. Sweet! I guess that's how I get up there. Oh gosh. I got a wristband! Happiness. What do I do with the wristband? I'll equip it on my right arm. Alright, strength plus five. I like that. Okay, and I can get over here now because I have the run ability. And what's down here? That scratch there. Sorry about that. And also, um, I have no idea what enemies get the best experience or anything like that. I used to check it out when I was fighting enemies, uh, but I'm not going to do that in an LP because I want to. Uh, I want there to be some progression. I want to always be moving forward. That's that's one of the things I love about. Um, whoa, 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 whoa! Watching and playing Let's Plays is that. Uh, it causes you to it, um, to push forward. It encourages you to push forward because you know that you're not the only one doing it. Like me, if I was playing a game by myself, I wouldn't have a problem, like in a in an RPG or something, just staying in one area and leveling up. And uh, I don't know how many of you have played Final Fantasy VII, but I had a friend who once he. Uh, exited the first city, uh, I think it was called Midgar, and got to the little Chocobo Ranch. He he farmed all the way up to level 99 in that area, 
and if you remember those enemies, you know that it's not a very experience-heavy enemy grinding area. Okay, so 20 to defense. Cotton clothes. Wow, I need to... I'm wearing a cotton shirt. Why don't I get plus 20 to defense? Okay, again, I don't know where I'm going. I don't remember much about the game other than it's fun. Does this just wear off? I'm going to see if it wears off. Anything here? No. Anything here? Um, I want somewhere to save. I think... Wait, wrong button. I think, uh... Save spots make poison go away. Or maybe screen transitions make poison go away. That's fine too. And what is my max heart? Okay. Can I get up there? Yes. Give me a save point. I disapprove. Darn it, I keep hitting the wrong button. I'm assuming there's a save point somewhere around here. Oh no. No, stop it. Stop it. And as always, if you have any suggestions for the playstyle of the games, um, or any games of your own that you'd like to see me play, let me know. I love doing requests. Save point! I knew there was a save point somewhere around here. <clears throat> they are, they do seem to be pretty strategically placed. <clears throat> so, let's go back down to that hall we passed by. And uh, another thing I love about this game, the series. No fall damage. I hate fall damage. Fall damage is silly. Mm, and uh, the game Spelunker knows exactly what I'm talking about. Spelunker could have been a fun game if it hadn't been for the fall damage. I think it was called Spelunker. The old Nintendo game. I think it used to be a PC game. Get out of here. You die. I hope you give me a lot of experience because you're somewhat of a pain in the butt to kill right now. Okay. And I don't think I can get under there. Maybe that's a new ability. Can I wall jump? Metroid style? I guess not. So, let me know what your favorite game in this series is. And, uh, uh, I've only, like I said, I've only played four of them. I haven't played any of the DS ones or the, uh, I think there was one on PlayStation live or whatever the network for that is called. I don't even have a PlayStation 2. Whoa! Huh. Reflex. That's why I was checking walls. Okay. I think that's a life upgrade, so let's see what my life is at right now. HP is at 120, MP 120, and heart 54. MP upgrade. So, 10 to my MP. And there's one little secret area, or there may be a few in the game, where the wall in the secret area is dis uh, breakable as well. Break away. Whatever the term is. Okay, 54 is my max hearts. Okay, where are we going here? Come on, throw your spear. Whoa! Did I go in that door already? I did. But it didn't go anywhere? Or I didn't follow the path? Oh, okay. Whoa! Where'd you come from? Leave me be. Are you a skeleton bomber too? Yes. I thought they were white, uh, white skeletons. I don't know why that. I don't remember them being red. Okay, so apparently this is a uh, visible plot wall. Uh, I don't think it has anything to do with the plot. I just think it's funny whenever I hear H.C. Bailey say that. He plays a lot of RPGs, and there's a lot of places where. Uh, you can't get past an area until you do a certain thing, and a lot of but thou musts in the game. The <laughs> the king and uh, dragon quest, dragon warrior, or whatever name you want to give it. He says, will you save the kingdom? I think it's dragon quest. Will you save the kingdom? And you say no, and he'll say, but thou must, what are you? Alright, yay. Was that MP up? Yes, it was. Okay, yeah, 140. I want HP up, dude. Give me HP up. And I think... Wow. Not sure, but I think that your HP and MP uh, only go up by those pickups. But your heart and uh, strength and defense and all that stuff on the left side there are what go up because of the level ups. But again, I have to, uh, I have to check that and see. 
between videos. So, whoa. Stop throwing bombs, you silly neener. So, the series. The f I think my favorite game in the series is... I think it's called Aria of Sorrow. It's the game where you play as... I think you play as Alucard? I mean, I know you play as Alucard in Symphony of the Night. But you play as the guy that's glowing. <laughs> he has a glowing outline. Uh, and you absorb the abilities of your enemies. And use those however you see fit. Alright, get out of my way. Everything. Mudmen and stuff. Okay, another MP increase. Well, they're just loading me up with MP and I have nothing to use MP on. Let's try throwing some daggers here. Whoa! Completely ineffective against men. Mudmen. Ineffective. Yay, grammar. Alright, let's go this way. Get away from me, son. Whatever you are. Spirit. Well, that's that's original. Okay, come on. Progress. <laughs> All right, the little spirit dude needs to despawn. Yes, you despawned. I approve. Anything up here? No. Okay, apparently those things don't have any hit, many hit points. What's up here? Exploration win. So, Castlevania. What do you think about this game? Let me know. I don't know if this is one of the games where you get new weapons. I don't think it is. I think I saw armor and, and arms as the equipment types. Okay, here's another save point. So, we have uncovered this much of the map, and if you know in what direction I need to go, or what direction you want me to go in, just let me know. If you want me to go in the room below the save point, or to the right. I guess those are the only two ways to go. Yeah, just leave me a comment, let me know what you think, let me know where you want me to go, and uh, let me know what you think of the series. And thanks for watching.